Hey, what's up everybody? In today's tutorial, we're going to make this double torsion spring here. It seems complicated, but we're going to break it down into its individual segments and make use of the mirror tool to do most of our modeling for us. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps us out here on the channel and helps our videos get views. And also be sure to subscribe to get notifications about future videos on the channel. Alright, now let's get started. Alright, to start our spring we're going to open up a new part file, making sure that our units are set to inch pound seconds, which they are. And we're actually going to start by modeling our coil and then branching the uh, spring outward from there on both ends. So we're going to open up a new sketch on our right plane and we're going to draw a simple center point circle and we'll set the diameter for that circle to be 0.655 inches this will be the center of our coil and hit OK. Now we'll select the circle, go over to Features and go to Curves and select Helix and Spiral. And if we tilt our view here we see that a spiral has already been generated but we need to update the parameters So we will keep the defined by set to pitch and revolution. You have a few different options here based on your input parameters, but we'll keep it set there. We want a constant pitch. If you want to watch a tutorial on how to do a variable pitch spring, check out the link below. For a pitch value, we're going to enter 0.07 which is the diameter of the wire that we're going to use so the coils will be flush up against each other we want to reverse the direction so it's going in the negative x-axis for the number of revolutions we want to set that to be 5.17 and for our start angle, we want the start angle to be right here. So we're going to set that to be 270 degrees. And we also want the end to be tangent to a line going in this direction. So we're going to set this to be counterclockwise. So if you see here, it's starting here, this is the end face, and then it's coiling inward from there, which is what we want. OK. So now we hit OK, and we have our basic helix. To create a solid body from this, we're going to do a sweep. And we'll just do a circular profile it'll automatically grab the helix because that's the only sketch in the model at the moment and we're going to set our diameter to be 0 0.07 inches and hit OK alright now let's do our sweep for the end that extends out from this part. So we're going to do a 3D sketch. And we'll do a line. And we're just going to grab this little center point here. And you see it's drawing the sketch in the X and Y axis, which is what we don't want we want it in the Y and Z so we're going to hit the tab 
button to change that to the Y and Z axis. There we go. And just draw a simple line and then double click to end the sketch and hit escape. Now we've got a line. Let's make it perpendicular. And we'll set its length to be 1.50 inches. And it's still not fully defined. How is this thing still free to move? Oh. Oh, that's not good. So let's just back out of that. Ah. Okay, so we need to set the endpoint to be in plane with the endpoint of the spiral. There we go. Now it's fully defined. Okay. And close out the sketch and we're going to do another sweep. Circular profile. Again, it's just going to grab that one automatically. If it doesn't, you just have to click it. And we're going to set our diameter to 0 0.07 and hit OK. All right. Now our next sketch is going to be a bit more complicated. So we're going to actually use the mirror tool to make our lives easier, so we just have to draw half of this model. So we're going to draw another sketch that goes up from this face, and then curves and goes to about here. And then we'll use the mirror tool to create the other half of the uh, part. So let's go up to Sketch, 3D Sketch, and select our Align tool. And let's select that face there. And we're going to go upwards, make sure we're set to the Y, Z axis, which we appear to be. Ah, yes, it says Y, Z on the cursor. Now we want to go in the X, Y axis. So we're going to hit the tab. So now we're in the XY axis, like so. Okay. So now we will make this endpoint in plane. We'll make it perpendicular, like so. We'll set these to be 90 or perpendicular. No, we won't. That's going to overdefine it. Uh, it's already set to 90. Okay. All right, and we'll set this length for the line coming out of the coil to be 1.25 inches. And we'll set the length for this line to be 0 0.75 inches. All right, so our sketch is now fully defined. I want to add a bend there because wire does not end in 90 degree corners. So we'll do a sketch fillet. Always do your sketch fillets on 3D sketches after you've fully defined it. It just makes life a lot easier. So we'll select our two lines, and we'll set our radius to be 0 0.25, or quarter of an inch, and hit OK. All right, now we have our fully defined sketch. We'll hit OK, and close out our sketch. And again, go back to our sweep boss base, circular profile, and again, 0 0.07 inches. 
Alright, so we did the hard part. Now we just have to set up a plane at this face and then use the mirror tool to mirror the entire part about that plane. So we'll select the face and then go up to plane and it's going to default to an offset plane but we want one that is coincident and hit OK. Now we're going to go up to where it says linear pattern, hit the drop down and select mirror and we actually want bodies to mirror. So we're going to mirror the whole body which is denoted here as sweep 3 which was the last feature in the body. That's what it defaults to unless you rename it. And hit OK. And voila! We'll hide this plane and we'll hide the helix here and we've successfully created our torsion spring. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future videos. And be sure to leave me a comment with a video you would like me to do in the future. Thank you and have a great day.